All right, we'll play some New Leaf for a while. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. I kind of want to make an effort to get the uh, coffee shop up and running, so I think that's going to be my goal for today. Because I want to try to wrap things off. Yeah, I mean, Tuesdays, I tried not to stream. I've kind of been trying to do things for myself that day and just step away from the computer and stuff. But today was particularly long, so tomorrow I will, like, be going to eat out with uh, the office folk, so that'll be my little break tomorrow. That is not the time, but sure. We'll see how we go. I just had to adjust the 3D slider a little there, so if it jogged. Alright. What have I got? All right, Gulliver. What did you get me? A cooler doll. Hold on. Random, but sure. All oh, right, they should have storage room. They said storage room was going to get built. Where is the storage room? Or is it even a room? Did I get ripped off and it's not even a room? It's just... Hang on, I swear I put something to build. Secret storage, what do they mean by that? I'll go into town and find out. I'm not sure. It cost me money, so I, I want to see it. It shouldn't be too bad to make up the money for the cafe. And then I think once we see that, that's probably a good time to wrap it up. Unless I imagine, did, did I imagine it? Did I just not set this to build? I swear I did. Okay, it's well, so good to see you. Congratulations on secret. Where is my secret storm though? Right, but where is it? You may find it difficult to locate your new storm. But of course, it's the secret story after all. To find it, look to the area just beside your light switch. You'll find a hidden entrance. Okay. Something of a surprise for you. I've noticed that you're quite passionate about acquiring items for the home. As such, there's someone I think you'd like to meet. This is Lottie, interior designer extraordinaire at the Happy Home Academy. I recognize you. Actually, I've asked her to lead a special seminar on remodeling for all our local collectors. I prefer the term storage impaired. Nice to meet you. I'm Lottie from the Happy Home Academy. Oh, I, I, I know quite a few people that are storage impaired. 
President Nook did ask me to provide you with some simple redecorating tips, so here I am. Hope you'll allow me to help you make the best of what you have and share my love of decorating. I've already prepared a space for the seminar, so head on over. Do you hope you're ready to have fun and work hard? Yes, yes. I don't get a choice in the matter, it's just like... Are you ready? Because it's time to do some interior design. Let the training begin. Let's we'll start with a quick lesson on how to rotate furniture. All you have to do is gently tap the block on the touch screen. Okay, I should probably swap to this layout. Okay. This technique will work for any floor furniture. Ready? Give it a try. Perfect. Your instincts are spot on. Next, I'll show you how to reposition furniture. Simply select the furniture you'd like to move and drag the block to a new place on the diagram. Decisions, decisions. Okay, this is nice. You can move furniture that's hung on the wall as well. The same way. Give it a try. Exactly. My, my. You're a natural. Let's move on. Next up, we have some small furniture that can be placed on top of a larger piece of furniture. Okay, this is nice. You're already an interior design master. There's another technique you should try once we finish up. This one's a bit more advanced. If you draw a square, you can move them all at the same time. Keep in mind you won't be able to move all that furniture at once if you're... Right, of course. If multiplayer's open, you lose the ability to do anything. Of course. Nintendo, man. Just, they just... <laughs> Why do they always drop the ball when it comes to online play? DIY genius. Okay. I suppose it's not just, it's not an online thing, it's just, there's always some detail about every Nintendo game that makes you go, wait, what? Why'd they do that for? That seems weird. <laughs> even, even the, the Zelda games, even the games that I like, each of them has that. Tears of the Kingdom had that sage thing. Ah, yes. Let's make it so you have to walk up to five different characters individually to trigger any one of their powers. And let's also have those characters be autonomous and run around the place, actively doing things in combat. Let's also make one of them a character that enhances your bow and your shots, but then you have to walk up to this character that uses swords and is in melee combat, so... Effectively, you're running into a sword character to do a bow attack. The amount of times I was trying to pick something off the ground and then one of those sages would walk in front of me and then I'd use their power by mistake and either blow away or destroy the thing I was trying to pick up. Yep. Alright, so where's the secret entrance? Said near the light switch. Ow. Oh, that's disappointing. I mean, nice. I have extra storage, that's nice. A lot of storage, actually. But it's not a room at, at all, it's just like... <laughs> those shutters in the bottom right corner. Uh, I mean, eh, I guess. Alright, but that's the feature that I wanted to see. This I like though, this I can get on board with because it's, it's pretty easy, I can just... Stuff that wasn't possible before, now I can do easily. Like, okay, this is this is kind of nice. I dig this. Hmm. 
and you can see the windows. I mean, just to put those paintings over there, that's already good. So wait, can I... <laughs> oh, okay, if it's got a plus, that means you're allowed to put stuff on top of it. If it doesn't, then you can't. That makes sense. So, then, when I was trying to place those things on the desk and they were kind of hanging off the edge, that wasn't my fault. That's just how they are, apparently. What does that do? Oh, no, I'll pass. Yeah, I mean, that that's cool. I like, I like how you design it. But, this is with existing stuff, though. Look at the mate spin. Okay, I don't really have anything else I want to do in this room. I just wanted to do that. It's fine, I guess. It's just, it only really works for furniture you already have out. But it doesn't really interact with your storage. Anyway, that's what I paid all the- that's what I paid all that money for. I'll just store a bunch of bananas in there. Someone comes over one day by mistake, they open what appears to be just a normal cabinet. They find a button, they press the button, and then this panel slides open and just like 50 bananas fall out. I'm like, well, the fuck? What's with all the bananas? And I, I, I won't say a word. Wait, who... Oh, wait, that's... Yeah, that's the coffee shop. I was like, who's moving in? No one's moving in. We'll be like Donkey Kong, who... just decided to steal every banana in the jungle... and keep it. Ah, look who's in town. All right, I need to bring up the art guide. New leaf art guide. Okay. When was the last time you were here? Well, I'm rather pleased to see you back again. Even he's giving me a guilt trip. I'll tell ya, this week's items are as rare as they come, almost green with envy that I can't buy them. But remember, we only sell one item per customer, so make sure you make your choice very carefully. Okay, um... The boy in the blue will have one arm... straight down. In the fake one, both are on hips. Alright, so this is fake. Um, this is a statue of wings? Hang on. Okay. The real Valiant statues will have wings that appear fluffy or feathery. The fake one will have bat wings. I mean, the bat wing one looks kind of cool. <laughs> but okay, it's fake. Uh, this one... This one might be one of these ones that's always genuine. I don't see it in this list, so this one's probably the genuine one. A 
Okay, what about... This one. It's just so hard to see some of these. Okay, the man in black will be on the left, and the man in white will be on the right. The opposite is true in the fake one. It's fake. Okay. Which means this is the real one. Scary painting. I'm just going to double check. I'm pretty sure this is the real one. Scary painting. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Here it is. It just didn't load the image. It's real anyway. I can see it. The fake one, it's kind of doing uh, the pistol gesture. I kind of want the fake one. I'll take it. Wait, how much is it? Oh, I don't have the money for it. Alright, I'll come back. I love how he's like, wait, are you trying to pull a fast one on me? You motherfucker, you have three fake paintings. Like, 75% of the items you sell are, are forgeries. Who's the real criminal here? So, it would appear I haven't played this game in a while. The guilt trips are happening, and, uh... All this weeds everywhere. So I'll earn some quick money, and then I'll go back. I can't believe he had the goal to say I was trying to pull a fast one. Might as well go see the comedy thing now. While I have fruit. <laughs> I forgot I gave Patty that greeting. That's like a goofy sound. Or whatever Goofy is, I don't know. Gar shock. Gar There you go. Uh, I was out for a walk too now. How now? So, oh, I get it, cause brown cow. So what's going on? How now? I'm going to shop until I drop today, and by shop I mean look, but don't buy. Pretty good plan, right? At least it saves me a bunch of bells. You should try it out. I'm good. I've said this before, but whenever I go to a shopping mall or something like that, I just want to get in and out. Quick as possible. It's just the crowds, man. Have a cherry. That was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Hmm. Then how about I tell you a really good joke today? Alright, I have to get ready, so you just wait here a sec. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My curiosity joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. Have I ever got a serious case of the what in the worlds today? Wanna know why? 
It's all because of something my kid said last night. So he hears a knock, right? And he goes to the door and shouts, Who is it? Just like I told him, right? And the woman on the other side yells, I'm selling candy. May I speak to the head of this household? That's, that's a stranger danger right there. And what does he say? Get this. My mom is out right now. My own kid says that. Can you believe it? I mean, what in the world? What the fuck? What the fuck, Shrunk? What do you mean? Is he, is he mad that he wasn't called the head of the household? I mean, you could say, like, it could, it could be a case of, like, you're both the head of the household and you weren't around, so therefore she is the head of the household. What do I think? I think you're a little insecure, little dude. Is this the first time you've seen my curiosity joke? Now you can add one more joke to your joke book. Use that joke book of yours to bust out your curiosity ability and develop your comedic skills. What kind of... Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't heard of many adults going door-to-door -door selling candy either. Your story does not add up. What does this look like anyway? Oh, good. Yes, I, this perfect expression. I was confused by the story. That could also be, uh, like, thumbnail bait. I put some holes in town and just quarantine off. Colton. I almost forgot his name for a sec. Colton. If he has fleas again, I'll quarantine him off and then just have a question mark raised. Watch the ultimate irony be like, as much as I hate the guy, he's probably going to be my first villager when I play New Horizon. It's just going to happen. You know it is. Dude's going to follow me off to a deserted island somewhere. Oh, wow, okay. All duplicates. I'm probably at the point where there's not a whole lot of fossils left. But I want girders for my house. That's a nice bed, though. Exotic. Uh, what? Well, I'll take it, but not. I don't have the money yet. What makes it exotic? Oh, I could have donated that thing. I'll go back. But. I will take the exotic bag bed. As mayor of the town, an exotic bed is a requirement. It's a shame. I miss when blathers would talk about random facts. It's honestly what would want to make me donate things one at a time. Oh! I 
I just... Hold on. Look at this. The list of exit, which is nice, but it's, it's just like... It doesn't really show me. I mean, this one's nice, because I can see which ones I have already. This one's a bit weird, it's like... Oh, there's a whole tail and skull, and it doesn't show what's completed? Anyway. That must be very expensive to upkeep. They're having to replace the sign, or I guess amend to it like every third day. What's up, Anacotti? Guess what? I really, 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 really want a stone tablet. Stone tablet? I'm sure you can make it happen. Oh, and I'll totally tell- Oh, it's one of these. Okay, sure. I thought for a sec she was gonna try and buy my bed. Hey, what's that in your pocket? Wow, a bed! Can I have it? I should probably take this bed home now that I think about it. Okay, but first I'll go buy that painting. What color is my 3DS? It's blue. It's like an older model, but it's fitted with a capture card. I have a newer one that's just black. Um, what's this one, right? Sure. Alright, that's ready. Not that one. I'll go drop off this bed. do this, I guess. Take this. I get the feeling this bed is bigger, but let's just see. What makes this exotic? I couldn't- oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Well. 
I guess if I do this here, then I have, um, I have my mate and corn next to me. It's, it's practical. I can still get into bed, I think. Ah. Yeah. I'm trying to see what this pattern is. I can't tell, it's like very blurry. It looks like one of those Rorschach tests, like... What do you see in the blot? <laughs> ah, that might explain why you have a piece of meat right next to your bed, it all makes sense. Oh, thank you for the follow as well. Dark Flame Ash. So, I was too busy, um, just trying to figure out that image. Think of it as more of an Eastern design. Yeah, I kind of figured it would be Asian oriented, like a dragon or something. But then again, maybe it's not. Maybe this is you're seeing a dragon, and that might might be um, like part of the test. It's like some people see a dragon. Maybe someone else sees a, a face or like a banana. Like if you just Look at it on an angle and squint. It's definitely there. <laughs> Why am I showing you pictures of your parents killing each other? I mean, you can kind of interpret it as two figures, sure. Or if you look at it this way, it's like, you know, it could be a giant octopus, see? There's his head, and then you have the tentacles on either side, and it's just crushing the life out of a cruise liner that has 400 people on board. Or it could just be a dragon. It's, it's most likely a dragon. I know what you were trying to do, Nick, though. Okay, anyway, back to my money making. I wanna, at the very least, get the coffee shop going before I, like, bid this game a little bit of a, a farewell. Oh. I don't know if I have that yet. Hold on. Oh, I get it, because a pill is like... I, had, I hadn't heard that phrase ever, calling something to be a pill. I guess it's just a nicer way to say it, but I'd never heard anyone use it ever. Oh, come on. It's hard to find an English stream for this game in a good time zone. Wait, the Australian time zone is good? That's the first time I've ever heard anyone say that. Well, if it works for you, I'm happy. Aussie streamers kind of have to resort to either staying... Well, unless you're on the West Coast. But it's like, you stay up late... Or you get up super early if you want to catch peak times. Because the Americans are in bed by now. The Europeans are getting up. And then by the time people are around, it's, it's like almost midnight. Oh, you're an Aussie as well. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Mm. 
Yeah, I decided to check this game out because I'd always heard things about New Leaf in terms of it being better in some ways than New Horizon, so. I definitely think that's the case. But I'm probably gonna play New Horizons again soonish. I've decided arbitrarily that the coffee shop is probably going to be as far as I go. Because I think after that, from what I've read, it's, it's not too different. New Leaf is better than New Horizons. It depends. Um, the way I feel about it is there's definitely a lot more to do in New Leaf on a day-to-day -day basis. Activity-wise, and there's stuff like bananas and mangoes and all this other fruit that for some reason they didn't add but new horizons has better interior decorating and better management of items and the fact that you can just customize your island like put furniture and stuff outside and decorate it i like that a lot but activities are better in this one for sure so whatever they do next with this series, it should be a mix of the two. You wouldn't know as you don't have a Switch. Okay. Very, very minor one and simple one. When you pick up fruit in New Horizons, it auto stacks, so you don't have to drag and drop it. Something that seems very minor, but I miss it a lot. But yeah, you can put furniture outside. You can make paths and stuff. You have more control over how your uh, your town, island, whatever looks. And there's a dedicated closet for clothing, so you can dress yourself up a bit better than what you can in this one. But the amount of stuff to do in New Horizons is... Uh, is less. Oh, also, stuff breaks in New Horizons. <laughs> Your tools break, which... Yeah. I think that's the change that people dislike the most. Even the gold ones, I got suckered into making a golden shovel and then it broke and I was sad. I just wish I could have played this during its heyday. I don't think I've ever been playing when there's a thunderstorm. Our town is getting so muddy in all this rain. I don't want to be the one to clean it up, brap. Was there something you wanted, brap? <laughs> ah, this weather is bringing me down. I need a... Wait, I need a down comforter and a wheelbarrow full of popcorn. I feel like... Well, not a wheelbarrow, but like a tiny popcorn cart. I feel like they've sold that somewhere. I have this vague memory of people buying it. Alright, I'm gonna look for the money thing.
It's okay. Like, I may not have an umbrella, but at least I have a wetsuit on. That's fine. There it is. It's such a big mistake with these trees. I was counting on the fact that I'd have an axe by now. And it has not happened yet, so... Yeah. The side of the town is not practical at all. Okay, how much do I have left? That's not too bad. Alright. I'll probably do fishing since there's... Oh. Hello. Finally, I found them, bro. Yes! I want some new furniture now. Anything will do. If you have any kind of anything, let me know. Um, I'm gonna buy him. Because honestly, he's been nice to me the whole time. Even the time where I stopped playing the game for like two months because of Zelda. There was no guilt trip. Hasn't got into a fight with other villagers. Hasn't brought the plague to the town either. I'm gonna get him that skill tester thing. These are worth anything. <laughs> I could be lazy and just get him balloon furniture, but no. Tell you what, when I go back to New Horizons, I'll I'll be happy about not having to drag and drop. Yes, they're full. Oh, it doesn't let me drag and drop in the swap menu.
I think the biggest surprise for me for this game was definitely the fruit. I got... I got more excited than... I probably expected to. I don't understand why these can't be in New Horizons either. I mean, okay, we can leave Durian because Durian's like a coin toss if you're gonna like it. But mangoes and bananas? Come on, man. I wonder if he'll accept girders as furniture. <laughs> nah, I'll get him thus. That's like, how is how is this cheaper than a bed? <laughs> The pricing in this game confuses me sometimes. Okay, so still the order of it is bed, crane game, and then girders by not too much behind. Wait, but it's three gir- it's not even just one, it's three? It's like 400 per girder. Here last time. Let's see if he's still here. monkey friend. Oh, there you are. G'day. In good spirits, even on this rainy day, I see. Yes. What's up, bro? Uh, you like you? You got a crane game because you've been so nice. Oh, a crane game. This is so great, bro. This is going in place as soon as I get home. Oh, yeah. Reward time. Here. This minimalist wardrobe ought to work for you. Thanks a bunch for your help. Minimalist wardrobe, you say? Oh, not home. What is the goal of this town? Uh, just to experience the game for the first time. I don't really have any high arcing gold for this one. Just giving it a try, as I've always heard good things about this one. Oh. Oh. 
I mean, I guess. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> forever gonna be unorganized. I guess I'm up to see. I should really sell some of this stuff, but I'm being lazy. But yeah, I'm probably gonna stop playing it once I get the coffee house up and running, because I think the remaining buildings are kinda... They're more or less just little upgrades that sell more things, they're not new content that I haven't experienced before. I don't know how many hours I've played of this, but... I could probably add it up very quickly. Not a lot, let's put it that way. The only other Animal Crossing game I've played is New Horizons, and yeah, just... People were always talking about how they liked a lot of stuff in this one more, so... Since I got my DS, uh... Wait, no. What do you want, Anacardi? This might be really out there, but... If you dropped an axe in a magic pool, Will, and a goddess appeared and she said she'd transform it to you, which would you choose? Golden axe, glitter axe, leave it alone. Golden axe, because Zelda. Really, I'd do the same thing. You're just like me, Kanali. Pretty things all the way. No, I was just... I wasn't thinking pretty. I was thinking, like, it has the power to banish evil from the sacred realm. And, um, you know, acquire the legally distinct triangle. Uh, yeah, I modded the DS for capture, and I figured, ah, I'll give this a try. Let's see what people were talking about. I'm pretty impressed by it. I want to say it's been like 30 hours, but it could be more. I think that's roughly correct. There's a lot of stuff that I do wish was in New Horizons, like the nightclub, the extra fruit, the activities that you do. I can see why people thought New Horizons was a bit empty at launch. I think that's all the fruit trees now. That's one. just sell so then I can just store more fish. Oh, I haven't changed my clothing today either. I should do that quickly. Oh, look who it is. It's the... Pl not you. I was, I'm not calling Tommy the plague rat. No, this is the plague rat. Do you have the fleas today? So what can I do for you? Are you clean today? I came to check out decorations. I'm looking for something to put on the wall to fill a void in my life. What? Colton, are you okay? I mean, listen, I know I put you into quarantine twice, but it's for the good of the town, man. No, wait, three times. Twice in one day. 
And then one other time on a separate occasion. But you, you had the fleas, man. Couldn't risk that spreading. It wasn't personal. All right. So I gotta go identify this fossil as well. Is it a new one? Okay, cool. No, never mind. <laughs> That's deceiving text. Eureka! Oh, I'm so excited, Well, Oh, what? We got something we didn't have before? Oh, no, no, no. No, no. It's, it's just this, uh, this thing we already have. It's okay. I'll give it back to you. That's a decent amount of money. Okay. Uh Let's see. What is is that? Mm, I can't tell what that is. I don't want to say it in case I'm wrong, but what? Yeah, I was like, is that a kiwi? <laughs> okay, it was. <laughs> no, as an Australian, I probably shouldn't wear that. You see, chat, if you understand, you understand. I'll get the red jacket. It's okay, we're friends. Just rival joke. Um, <laughs> you understand? Okay, good. Someone had to. The funny thing is I have more New Zealand friends than Australian friends. Uh, I don't even know what to wear. What, what is this? Lemon? What do you mean lemon pack? That item is from our women's collection, but I suppose men can wear it too. Dead lemons? What do you mean from a women's collection? I'm taking it. How dare you say men can't wear lemons on their faces. I'm wearing- I'm wearing this lemon. I'm- I'm in a gang. And we run this town's lemonade. You better not be selling lemons on my turf. I 
granit. Uh, red wrestling shoes. <laughs> sure. Why not? I'll buy them. Now, I need a backstory now. It's like, I'm, I'm either a crime lord that runs lemonade stands across the country, or I'm a professional wrestler. My parents were tragically killed by Big Lemonade. So I donned the lemons to fight crime. It's also very good for the skin, but mainly the crime thing. stuff away. I'll make the secret storage all clothing. Keep that. Alright. I haven't checked what what I can exchange for coupons today. What is this? Money box. <laughs> nah. Hey, man. I'm here to collect. You ordered six lemons from me the other day. It's time to pay up. Oh, right. I forgot about these fruit. Debating whether or not I should plant more of these. I just don't want this beach to get too cluttered. Alright, no fish shot. Wait, what are you? It's probably already gone. It's gone. <laughs> My bug collection is always lacking because I just run everywhere.
Now I can get to fishing. I'll try and get the amount I need for the coffee shop, like, down to double, to, not double, like, tens of thousands instead of hundreds of thousands. Okay. I wonder if there are any exclusive fish to the rain. If I keep catching those, I'll make a dent very quickly in that. Okay, that was probably a sea bass. I'm happy there isn't anything like the. I guess you don't call them achievements, but the equivalent of achievements. Like that catch a hundred fish in a row thing that's in New Horizons. Without messing up. That's not bad. As long as it's not a sea bass, it'll sell well. I was hoping it'd be an eel.
I haven't seen any fish at the pier, so I imagine it's not a thing in this game. Oh. Come here to fish. Okay, three more. I'm gonna make a decent amount. I'm just gonna ignore that. Fish. All right, one more. Probably not that little one. There's only the small ones around. Maybe if I walk up on the river there might be something. What the hell? I am in the worst mood ever. If you know it's good for you, you'll walk away right now, Will! What? I'm so mad, I'm about to blow my stack. Everyone better watch out. Anna Cody, what have you done? You always start fights. What now? If you know what's good for you, you'll walk away. Jeez. Even I get mad sometimes. See, that's at least polite. This is like, get out of my way. You don't want to be anywhere near me right now. Ah, I'm so good. You should stay out of my way. Okay. Damn. I wonder what happened. It's such a small mouse. Gets angry very easily. Mm -hmm. 
Good enough. Should probably go back to that layout. Give me the bells. Nice. All right, well, that's a decent dent in that. Doesn't say why. Do you know what happened? Are you okay? You look a little tired. It's always good to take a break. I'm alright. Just perplexed at why... Why a fight broke out. Getting there. Mm, I might just pick up the shells just to be quick. Quick money. Sea bears. Oh, that's it already. All right, go sell. Still angry, Anacardi? I keep seeing you again and again. Oh no, am I stuck in a time loop? I've got to break out. I mean, I like you, but that's just too much. What's up? What happened? I was doing some tree chopping the other day. Such a fun chore, and I saw the coolest thing. There was this really rare design on top of the tree stump. I was like, well, wish you would have been there with me. You wouldn't have believed your eyes. Make sure you always check the stump after you chop down a tree. You may... Well, I... <laughs> I don't have an axe. <laughs> Game refuses to give me an axe. I wasn't going to make a lot, but it's, it's something.
Since there are only little fish and it still looks like that's the case, this is probably a nice way to make some quick money. Come on, fish. I still think that some of this stuff should sell for more. Like, just because it's small doesn't mean it shouldn't sell for much. There's exotic fish that sell for quite a bit, and they're tiny. Two more. Oh, here we go. Big one. Why? Fish, why? Why you do that? Nice. Big money. Oh, I'm full anyway. Okay. What's up? Great timing, bro. I'm thinking about changing my catchphrase. Got any suggestions? I've got one. Brzezinski. I don't know what to say. Just... Ha-ha! That's it? Yep. Okay. Just... They ask that of me too often. I'm not creative enough to come up with a new catchphrase for every villager, like, every four days. It's not even really a catchphrase, it's just a word or two. Keep catching at least one swordfish every trip. It's not going to be long before I can pay it off. It's like, I don't know, 10 or 12. Anyway, between that.
Oh, hello. Just one, okay. Getting there. I really want to see what the coffee shop looks like. I really like the idea of it being separate. Where are all the fish? That's a loss of money. <laughs> oh, come on! Really? 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 Okay. Okay. It might be time to just go on a journey to the seas and try my fishing on the island instead. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> That's three now in a row. What is happening? I swear if this is more trash. Okay. I would love to just show off the trash and make that a thumbnail.
What? That's that's four pieces of trash. Am I am I in the red? Oh wow! You found four pieces of trash, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much for cleaning up our town. That'll be seven thousand bells, please. These tiny fish are not going to make this trip worthwhile, but what am I to do? I don't know if I should risk it on this thing. Is this gonna be trash? Okay, it's not. Still. Yeah. Oh, I was about to say the only thing that could make this better is like. Big fish. Big fish, come on. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, that makes sort of worth it. That's the last one. Alright, let's go. Some of the stuff has just been here forever. <laughs> that deficit. I think I kind of had more success with the island fishing. Let's go on a trip. Okay. It's probably worth the money. Just too much garbage. Can't believe I got four pieces of trash.
When I was young, I'd call me sweetie to talk. But if her dad picked up the phone, I'd hang up. Sometimes her dad's kinda mean. Even now, I'm scared of him. But I asked for his girl's hand. So I guess he thinks I'm man enough. Just between us guys, recently I've been worried about me last few hairs falling out. <laughs> My wife's me alive. At least when I'm on land. What? At, le at sea there's me boat on the other hand. He just painted a very depressing fucking picture. <laughs> what is going on with your life, man? Jeez. Oh, there's like a... a, sh a captain hat. Ah, oh, one metal shot. I want- I'm getting the shirt. I'm going to tour. Um... I guess just do... This one. I don't think I've done this one yet. Thanks for joining us on the official Labyrinth Tour. Well, today you're going to navigate a maze we've built here on this island. You have five minutes to find some fruity treasure. Three banana and three durian. Okay. Don't even think about bringing other treasures. I warn you. Alright. There's a durian. Oh, there's pear. I need pear for my island, but I can't bring it with me. Banana. Banana. Bro, what is that? What? There's, there's other fruit I haven't seen before. Unfortunately, I can't take it back because he complains. If I do. There's a lot to see here. What is this? Oh, it's a persimmon. Okay. Persimmon. Oh, durian. Last banana. Wasn't there a jury in here? Uh-oh.
Oh, there it is. Which means... Okay. I got a couple of minutes to find the last one. Oh my god, this maze. Well, I already got three bananas. I just need... It looks like there's extra... Oh, ah, ha, ha, ha. All right, got it. Let's see here. This is exactly what I asked for. Well done. You gathered all the fruit treasures I asked for. Great job. For your superb performance, you've earned the Silver Tortimer Award with five medals. Hope you enjoyed the official labyrinth tour. Tell your friends. Alright, now I can afford the, uh, the shot. Now I look like a pirate. <laughs> To borrow. Give fish rod, please. Thank you. Hopefully, I have better luck here. Even if I get garbage, the garbage is staying here. I was ready. I just get the feeling like the rain is bringing in all that trash, like that might be a thing in this. Alright, good. Oh, shock. Yes. Trip's already worth it. discard anything that's not too valuable. Thank you. 
Ja. <laughs> this has already been worth the trip. I'm getting better results and quicker. I don't think I have you yet, Ribbonil. Yeah, I don't have that yet. That's new. Nice. As long as it's not a sea bass. If only there was a place to sell here, that would be great. But I got it. It just means you gotta prioritize. Shock. It's going to be so good for the, the museum. I keep saying museum. Coffee shop fun. Uh, associate the coffee shop with the museum. But they are separate entities here. Ribbon eels sell well, I can't remember. I know they're worth more than sea bass. I should probably check. Dude. Excellent. I mean, if this keeps happening, man, coffee shop's gonna get paid. Another one.
I mean, honestly, at this rate, I should just take back only sharks and nothing else. And it would pay it off. I do this just in case there's like new fish that I haven't seen. Because the season did just start. Let it go. Now I'm gonna get into the business of swapping out the bad ones. Tiny fish is not going to make much of a difference. Ugh. Look like a bigger shadow. Oh well. This has already been worth it. You can't with the spinning fish. What do you mean, spinning fish? when I catch them. Don't they do that in New Horizons? I don't remember what it's like. Get rid of the sea bass. I thought that's what they always did. Oh, so it just looks more dodgy in this, okay. I mean, it's a DS game. At least they tried. If this was Pokemon, it would be like a cutscene. It would fade to black. Oh no, I wasn't ready. Damn it. Imagine a shark going around like that. <laughs> if a shark did that in real life, probably drag you into the fucking ocean. It'd be reeling you in instead of the other way around. You'd be the one being reeled in. Okay. You mean you can't just catch a whale shark with just a flimsy rod? There was some story about an Aussie that caught a shark, um, with a very flimsy rod and his fists. I don't know how much truth there is to it, but the dude is pretty famous for it. Like, somehow he pulled it off. Kinda be in a whale shark. Oh no, it wasn't a whale shark. That's definitely the truth. But it was it was big. Hang on, 
What was the story exactly? Hold on. I saw it appear. It's like... There's this... Uh... I wouldn't call it a newspaper, but it's like a news site that's effectively government-owned. And they've been doing stories on just older stuff. But, yeah, they had... Uh, let's see if I can find it. Just the context of it. Yeah, okay, it was a tiger shark. Yeah, you're right. That's <laughs> still pretty fucking impressive, like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Dude's, like, dragging it... ...along the beach once he has it. Pretty, pretty damn impressive. Of course it happens here. if that sounds supposed to be seagulls or something, but it doesn't sound like seagulls. I'll have to pay attention to how the fishing looks like in New Horizons, because it's, it's been that long that I don't remember. Maybe this does look dodgy. I don't know. <laughs> I have no frame of reference. This has already worked out a lot better. The fishing on in the town is just so horrible right now. I mean, if I catch like, say, 15 of these, I feel like that's gonna pay it off, so. I'm not going to work towards finishing this up. The secret storage thing was disappointing. It's not what I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a room, but it's just like this touchscreen control that lets you access storage in the house, which, eh. So I think that's the only other thing left to see. The fortune teller's in this game as well, but that goal is like ages away, and I feel like it's it's not going to be that impressive. I've seen what I need to see. I really wanted to do something with this town, but it just, it just doesn't want to give me the axe, and I think the axe is tied behind the next shop upgrade, and I think that's what this game's, like, uh, late game is about.
The other fruits I'm not going to get to experience because you have to trade them. But I've seen some other ones pop up. Give me more sharks. So if I do one more session of this, I can start New Horizons this weekend. Assuming I get the money for the museum. I keep saying museum. Coffee shop, coffee shop, coffee shop. They're separate now. In New Horizons, they're one thing, but in this, they're separate. Coffee shop. Let's just keep catching. It'll probably work out, because tomorrow we're going to German pub thing again, so probably going to eat a lot, and therefore we'll not be in a thinking mood later. Because I will be full of meat and, and beverage. <laughs> so, this will probably be a, a good time to like wrap this up tomorrow. So at this point, I'm just going to go for the big fish. I'll catch the little ones just to get rid of them. I know you wanted to see me play New Horizons, Cat, so if I was to start it on Friday... Is it something that you could watch? I know you wanted to see it at the very least the start of it. I'd be glad to go back to the fishing that's normal. These fish act really erratically sometimes. Swap. Get rid of the sea bass. Big fish. I 
I mean, I assume this sells more than this. I don't want to spend too long here, but at the same time, coffee shop needs to get paid. That's just a little one. This is probably just a sea bass. Oh no, it's a puffer fish. Okay, well, I mean, this looks fine. I don't really have a price list or something for some of these fish, so I'm just going off memory here. Okay, there's hopefully not a sea bass. Okay, it's an eel. That's good. We can get rid of this one. Nice, here we go. put these away. I mean, if I manage to catch about 15 sharks, that should pay for it. It's not that big a goal. Like, I already have, what, like, six, seven? Pretty much eels or stingrays, and yeah, they're the ones to sell. The fishing in town was just giving me garbage, and I don't mean like bad fish, I mean literal garbage. This will work. Eels sell decently as well. That's probably a sea bass. Hey! <laughs> Where are you going? <sighs> okay, there we go. The door. It turned away for a sec. I thought it was gonna go. Yeah, sea bass. Thought so. All right. I'll throw it back in.
All right. I gotta catch these little ones to get rid of them. I mean, I reckon another half hour of this, and then I'll have the funds to purchase the coffee shop. As long as I don't get super unlucky. Friday should work. Alright. Well, it's tentatively. try and finish the tunic as well, but like, uh, I thought about one of the puzzles I have left, and I think I, I have a solution for it, but the solution kind of sucks, and I'm not sure I can do it. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it, but I get the feeling it's, it's going to be something like this, given what I've had to do so far. But the puzzle, the puzzle with the bird... It represents musical notes, and I think I know what I need to do. I need to... There's a spot on the map where it points out a musical note, and I've been trying to figure out what that is as well. And now I think I know what it is. I have to transcribe what the musical chimes are playing, and then the birds tell me the input. So then I have to play a certain combination at these wind chimes. I'm pretty sure that's what I have to do. But the thing is, I, I wouldn't be able to read music to save my life. I don't know. Do I have bells or cucumber on my cheeks? It's cucumber. It's cucumber. Don't know if you can see it, Paul. I went to the store to buy new, new clothing for today, and when I looked at the cucumber, she said, this is for women, but you can sell it to you as well. And I was like, all right, I'm buying this now. I know it's not cucumber, it's lemon. It's lemon slices, which was even com more confusing. Like, what do you mean lemon slices? I can wear them if I want to. So here I am, I'm wearing lemon slices on my cheeks. And a do-rag, so like... I run the lemonade racket in town. You're gonna be distributing lemon or lemonade, you're gonna have to come through me. That would dry you the fuck up. <laughs> well, I don't know that. Well, I guess it's just a sign to show how hard I am, right? Dry skin doesn't bother me. Actually, it does. It really does. As someone that got eczema, believe me, dry skin is f it fucking sucks. Dry, itchy skin. Damn it, too late. It's okay. It's probably the first shark I've missed in a while. I wonder if going in and out of the building resets the fish that are out there. Let's see. It's 
seems to do the trick. Okay, good. More of that, please. Man, this just reminds me of just the elevator thing in Stardew. Just go, go through the door, check if what you want is there. If it isn't, go back. They're gonna be so confused, just me walking in and out. Just a sea bass. I wonder if there are any people that grow up with this game that are just put off by. Ah, damn it. Actually trying sea bass as a fish. They just associate it as just being a bad fish just because of how many times they've caught it in these games. I'll do some loose math around what I have. I'm gonna say the eels are roughly 5,000. Then the sharks, they're minimum of 10k. So let's say I have 10k of eel. Then... Uh, like 40k... 40, say 44... Uh, 50k... Sorry, 54, 58. They have like about 60, 70,000 ish, give or take. In terms of bells, I think. Maybe 80 if I'm lucky. Just loose predictions. Eels are like 2k, are they? Okay. Yeah, it's probably the same. I mean, sharks, like, the cheapest one is 10, but most are, like, 12. So. I would say I'm, a, I'm roughly correct. Because there's a margin of error between the eels. Like, I estimated them at 4. But if they're worth 2... And I, I undervalued the sharks at 10. It's just, yeah. I think it, it equals out. Only tiny fee. Oh! Shark. Don't you dare. I'm gonna be patient. Dude. <laughs> okay. Patience paid off. It was a whale shark.
I saw um, a video today of Charles Martinet at a convention. And someone asked him what his new role is. Because, you know... Nintendo says he's an ambassador now for Mario. And the thing he said, I guess, now, like, it convinces me that that... Him not doing the voices for Nintendo games wasn't his choice. So, you can go look for the video, but... To paraphrase, it was like, he doesn't know what, what Mario Ambassador means, but he's going to find out. And he also said that he wasn't retired. So he specifically used that language that he wasn't retired. So... It's like, he doesn't even know what the title even means. Which I think leads me to believe is like an olive branch on Nintendo's part. It's like, oh, we're not going to use you anymore. Which, you know, they have, ev they have every right to do, but... It does kind of explain why the announcement was just so weird and sudden. I think the whole thing would have been that... There's new Nintendo games coming up and they haven't said anything about it. And people would have 100% noticed that it wasn't Charles. So they had to say something. I don't know. <laughs> it might be a bit cynical to think that, but... Let's just say Nintendo hasn't exactly done the greatest things when it comes to them as a corporation. So it honestly wouldn't surprise me if Charles did not want to retire. I mean, would you? If you were the voice of, like, one of the world's most recognizable, beloved characters, you'd want to be doing that shit as long as humanly possible. I know I would. That's an expensive fish, I would believe. I think I have it as well. You listen to a comparison and it was still Mario, but the OG voice actor had much more of a flair. Yeah. Have you listened to the comparisons of Wario? The Wario one is more noticeable than the Mario one. The Wario one I noticed right away, I was like, that's not Charles. <laughs> when they showed the new Wario game trailer, I knew right away, I was like, that's not Charles. He has more of a flair for it, but, you know, it's not that much of a departure. You did not, but you never really grew up with Warrior and Waluigi in your games. That's fair enough. Um, Waluigi, no for me, but Wario, Wario was a huge part of my childhood, like... The Game Boy games I had were Wario games. There was hardly any Mario games on there. And WarioWare was such a good series. Plus, you know, I made people laugh with my Wario voice. Which, I'm kind of surprised it took me as long as it did to do it on stream, but it kind of makes sense. Like, I didn't really play any of those games until a few years ago. I think the new voice that I'm a huge fan of is the new Yoshi voice. Okay, I've got this. The new Yoshi voice is great. Especially since they've re-recorded the line 
Yoshi's Flutter jump line. It doesn't sound like this weird <laughs> sound. It sounds cute now. That was the only sound that was just off, in my opinion. Finally, I know, right? That's it's when they moved from Super Nintendo to Nintendo 64. I remember playing Smash Brothers for the first time and hearing that sound coming out of Yoshi, and I was like, "What the hell is that?" Oh no, the new sound is so much better. The new sound just fits perfectly. I wouldn't say it's it's like great, but it is infinitely better. <laughs> If you want to hear it, uh, watch the the direct for uh, the new Mario game, Mario Wonder. They show it off there. Just all the footage of the new Yoshi sounds, they're great. And also Yoshi is like 1990s Yoshi, where he's a little bit chubby. I like chubby Yoshi. Just looks like the Yoshi from Super Mario World. We just need to bring back chubby Pikachu now. It's unfortunate that shark was first cast. Alright, I'm going back in. Do I have anything to drop off? I have another shark to drop off. Almost there. I will definitely have the funds for this today. I wouldn't say this is broken. It's like... Unless you hold a bit of fish, but not too many. Fishing in the Animal Crossing games give you anxiety. Oh, the patience thing. The fact that the first bite can be, like, the time you have to reel it in. Have you tried any of the, uh... The milestones cat, where you have to catch a certain number in a row without messing up. Let me tell you about catching a hundred in a row. You did ten in a row without noticing and then you kept fucking up. <laughs> I forgot what number I got to, but it was pretty far in and then I fucked up and I got so angry that I drew some clothing for myself to commemorate the fuck up with the number that I fucked up at. And I wanted to make the clothing look horrible, but then somehow, I guess subconsciously I designed it to look good. It was like 71 or something, something like that. I remember it being 73, because it was, like, very close to 76. I remember, I'm like, I'm Soldier 73. <laughs> Went crazy on a fishing trip. Well, that's going to be fun to do again. because no save data.
I've also been getting the urge to play through Pokemon Red and Blue and catch all the Pokemon just to show how difficult it was. I now have the capability because I have I have the link cable that works with an old Game Boy and the one the thing that I have, so I can actually do trading and do the old the old uh, trade glitch thing. And then who knows? I could then do that with gold and silver. Well, I guess if I'm playing gold and silver, I'd want to play crystal. Crystal's better. At least with red and blue and yellow, it's like yellow, the whole Pikachu thing, I don't know. I found it annoying. But crystal was legit. Is it going to turn? No. I mean, once I fill up that box, I'd say that should be enough. That should be enough to pay for the coffee shop. <laughs> I almost wasn't gonna be able to do it because one thing I overlooked was, wait, how am I gonna capture video from this thing if it's in the dock? And I need to have access to the link cable port. But I found a solution. I got like some dodgy USB-C cable that is an extension cable, but it has video on it. So it solved the problem. It just looks a bit weird. <laughs> it's this cable that's going to be sticking out of the dock, but I guess it does the job. You won't be able to see it. You went on a big villager hunt to find Dreamy. Oh, Dreamy, Gale this time. And now a week later she's asking to move out. Is it cause you just haven't been around or maybe haven't talked to her? I don't know, I always found them wanting to leave kind of arbitrary. The ones that I wanted to leave, like I don't interact with at all and then yet they stick around. The shark is in quite the blind spot here. I can't tell. Wow, this is annoying. Oh, I got it. There's a two-week cooldown. After that, a random villager may ask to move. Random, right, okay. The sunfish is tiny here. Yeah, same with the whale shark. They don't do the massive thing. Okay, at least they spin around in a circle. See, I can't prepare. If I want to cook some of these fish and I want lemon, I got the lemon on me.
I'm prepared. Getting there. I remember the first time I came across a scorpion in New Horizons. That same scorpion kept coming back multiple times. A clip of it still exists, not the first time it showed up, but like at the point at which I was getting so tired of being attacked by it, I went to track it down and then when I went to catch it, my net hit a, uh, a tent. And I got stung. You're trying to keep one of each personality on your island till they've unlocked all the reactions and the stupid jocks keep reminding you to work out. <laughs> it's alright, you don't have to listen to them. Just tell them to read a book. I can't tell if this is gonna work. It's not. Why is there always one here? Okay, come on. That's really annoying. I'm not sure I can get this one. Oh, you dick. Okay, um. I don't think I'll be able to get this one. <laughs> but I, I want it. It's money. Oh, 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 it moved, it moved. It moved. What do you mean, hey? Hey! <laughs> get back. Are you kidding? What happened there? It had line of sight. <laughs> what was that? And it was like a first, first tug. I had to reel it in right away.
I'm surprised I managed to get that. Alright, I'll go in and reset the fish. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what I'm going to do when it comes to villagers. I might do the channel point redeem thing where people can pick a villager for me to hunt down, but I have to make the cost large so then it doesn't happen often. And of course, I can only hunt so many down. It's also something I'm only going to enable when I am going to look for more villagers. So it'll be like, haha, you can't do it in advance, you have to be here. It'd be like the person that yells shotgun before the car is even in line of sight. should have gone for that. I don't think it was one of the important ones. Fish. Come here. Yes! <laughs> you, should, you should have seen how bad the fishing was back in town. Just tiny fish and then garbage. Ugh. That's 15k, I'm happy with that. So, I mean, they took this concept here, like this exact thing, and were like, hey, our next game, it's gonna be this, but bigger. You hope the next Animal Crossing is more like city folk. Or city like. I haven't played city folk. But yeah, we'll see. I mean. Is there such thing as two Animal Crossing games on the same platform? Then again, I mean, the rumor is by next year we'll have a new Switch, so we'll see. I 
That's what I'd guess, new console, new Animal Crossing. I'm willing to bet that Metroid Prime 4 is going to be a launch title for the new console. At this point, it'd be weird of them not to do it. But I mean, outside of that, it's just like... Backwards compatibility will probably be the big thing. I doubt they'll do like a new Zelda game so soon. I mean, it's been a while since Odyssey released, Mario Odyssey. The only game that's kind of up in the air is Metroid. Animal Crossing is gonna be four next year, so it could be time for a new one. Yes! Keep it coming. I think I might just come here every time to fish, honestly. This has had so much better results. I mean, what if that's like 30k between those two? I probably have enough, but it'll also let me have money to spend on whatever's next. Assuming I want to do anything else. I mean, just between the Marlins alone, that's like 60k. Um, yeah, I think I'm happy with this. New Smash game, maybe. I don't know how they would top Ultimate. They'd, I think that one's going to be harder to do. Unless they take Smash Ultimate and call it, like, Super Smash... Like, Super Ultimate or something, and just add more characters on top of what it already has. Or Ultimate Deluxe, I don't know. It's like, they're either gonna do that, but to have a new one, they'd have to do some revolutionary change, because... This most recent one is pretty... pretty definitive. Mega Ultimate Super Awesome Smash. They'd need to do, like, a story mode like they did with the Wii version. The story mode on the Wii version was pretty cool. I mean, the stages weren't anything, like, major, but conceptually it was cool. It had a lot of cutscenes and putting characters together. I probably shouldn't have a full inventory. Let's just go. Go home. Ah. Uh, we automatically trade him in for cash, and we don't pay well. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's fine. It's like a little bit of extra money. It was just fish that I didn't really care about anyway. I showed up for tryouts in me best sports gear. Played like I was in a trance. I showed no fear. But 
when I opened me eyes, I was so surprised. I'd made the girls team, and there weren't any guys. <laughs> These songs sometimes are so weird. You look like me exactly when I was- or whatever. All day long, it's ahoy, ahoy, ahoy. If I weren't doing this, I'd be a cowboy. I'd be a cowboy. Let's just go back to this. Oh, it stopped raining in town now. It is time to make money. Very, very productive. Okay, now let's. Yes! <laughs> Look at all that money. That was just with one lot, 68k. I know the joke is, is when it comes to certain games, I just resort to fishing for money making, whether that's Terraria, Stardew, Animal Crossing. There are others. In Yakuza, I did resort to fishing for a while as well. But this is why, look, look at, look at it. Look at all the money. I need to donate one ribbon fish to the museum. Run ribbon eel. Wake up blathers one more time. <laughs> I just I just realized something else. In this one you just hand you hand the poor creature to blathers. In New Horizons, they're always in, like, a little tank or a bag. This one, we're, we're just handing over an eel with no enclosure or anything. It's a little detail, but it matters a lot.
Give me the bells. Not as much, but still respectable. Wait, am I holding too much money? What was that about excess bells? Oh. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm just holding a gigantic bag of money, huh? Oh, we've got this. Easy. Easy. I'll have, I'll have money to spare. carry that in New Horizons as well. Oh, I don't remember that for some reason. I guess it makes sense. It's alright. Alright, cool. Coffee shop's gonna happen. I did it. It took a while, but this shock business, this is going to be a lot. Good. I might be overseeing my bound, but if you're tired, don't push it. Be sure to get some rest, okay? I mean, I am a little tired. fuck was that sound from Serrano? I thought you were gonna say, what the fuck, like, you're tired? <laughs> the message comes from, like, what? I'm tired! I can be tired, can't I? It's 11 o'clock at night, like, fuck. Oh, I don't know, that's just, that's just Serrano's voice, I guess. You don't like the sound of his voice? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why are you tired? It's like one of those situations where the wait for elaboration feels like an eternity. There's, I saw, I saw it, an image just, you know, probably doctored, but a text message saying I'm pregnant as the first message. And then, you know, the next message being the person, hey, can you please elaborate? Cause my wife is panicking and it's like, sorry, I'm pregnant. I need the day off to go to the doctors. 
It's basically what this is. Like, what the fuck? You're tired? Like, sometimes you have to write the whole sentence so there's no confusion. Do you like his voice? <laughs> Tell me more. What do you want? Bruh. What's new? I think the background music is a secret for making you want to come back again and again. Yeah, the play coins I won't be able to get. It just sounds like it's from an old foreign game from the 90s, not a specific one. I, I guess. Like an old trivia game or something. Hmm. <laughs> an old trivia game. <laughs> Trying to picture like what you would mean. Just have like Wheel of Fortune or one of those games and then it's just that voice. Paid for with eels and sharks. Well, I'm sure other stuff, but mainly fish. It sounds like that because it's old and foreign, and so you can't understand what they're saying. I mean, you can sort of hear it. All, all of the villages are like that. There's like some faint English in there. Stop. That was a big fish. I mean, there are a few characters that have deep voices. Maybe you just don't like the deep voice characters. There was that red elephant that was on my original island in New Horizons that you don't like. Hold on, what's up, Anacotti? I want a greeting that's all fresh and sparkly. Have one for me, of course. <laughs> but... This one's fine. Yeah. I see, I see. I couldn't have thought of a better greeting without thanks, Canali. I'm not changing it. Do you just want everyone in Animal Crossing to just have a squeaky voice? Like, no one can have a really deep voice? Like, is, is that off putting? So nice today, it kind of makes me feel like sunbathing count. So, how can I help you? Want to chat? Sometimes when I'm alone in my house, I kind of get creeped out. If you're free right now, it'd be great if you'd come over and keep me company. Sure. Yeah, let's go right now. That's interesting. I heard someone thinking. Is 
Which one's the house? I think I, there. I thought so. It's like this this one just over here. Well, here we are. Just give me a moment to unlock the door. You've heard the deep voices before, but for some reason Serrano in New Leaf is old foreign trivia game from the 90s with the sound glitched. <laughs> Imagine his voice with this music playing right now. Hello, welcome to my trivia game. First question. What popular TV show in America has just started airing in 2023? Is it A, Prince? B, Third Rock from the Sun? <laughs> or C, Dawson's Creek. <laughs> oh dear. It's nothing fancy. I hope you enjoy this. I'm already enjoying it. This will make a great thumbnail. Oh, I love that show, Friends. My favorite character is Chandelier. And Monique. Chandelier and Monique. Their relationship is so good. I hope they hook up one day. That... Jo Joel is a funny guy, but I don't think he's going to hook up with Fabi. Fabia. Fabi. Had bad for our names for all of them. I don't remember Phoebe. I feel like it was just like just Bobby. Phoebe. And Rus. What is this clothing? Just here. It's sewing machine. I mean, Chand Chandelier and Monique. Those were the two obvious ones. I'm touching the cabinets. Okay, okay, stop. I totally lose track of time when I use my turntable to listen to KK Step. Uh, wait, it's a big problem if, I, if I'm cooking. I can't tell you how many things I've burned because of it. Why does it have to make two different camera noises when you rotate? What? doing oh she has a candle isn't this a bit redundant she has a fireplace and a candle going this is very redundant like a roaring fire but also it's not enough so a candle as well Oh wait, no! Three flames! There's, there's a third one up here. Roaring fire... What is this, like a sconce? A candle. You have a candle on your New Horizons fireplace? 
I thought you were gonna say, shut up, Will. I'm sitting in front of my roaring fire right now with my candle. Don't you dare criticize my lifestyle. You live in fucking Australia. You don't have to worry about the cold like me, okay? We need all the fire we can get. <laughs> just for context, uh, yeah, cat's from Sweden. The joke is I just don't ever experience any anything remotely close to cold, ever. <laughs> <sighs> that was fun. What's up? Howdy, Cookie. So, what can I do for you? Looks like Red is here selling his stuff today. They call him Crazy Red, but he seems okay to me. You're not a good judge of character. Are you freaking out at this elephant's voice, cat? Are you expecting... No, okay, the tune. What can I do for you, Dave? Uh, I'm bored. Is that lemon pack your lunch? That's a good idea. Maybe I'll slap some fish and chips on my face to eat later. Oh, like the sound of running into my steam. It's just a, like, someone that doesn't know how to play music. It's about as bad as someone that doesn't know how to play the recorder. All of them have the same tune, it's Funky Town, it's just the instruments used in that one I guess are a bit more... It's like someone crashing into a drum kit. I'm not sure I can get it to play again. But I hope you carbo loaded today. It's all about the carbs, haha. <laughs> See, look at look at my jock character telling me load up on the carbs. Hell yeah! Don't get just get ready to to carb load. Today's just a regular workout day. No special events are going on, but you got to make sure you don't. I have sore muscles on days when we do special events. Your jock literally calls you mush. <laughs> oh dear. My jock is nice. Where is Tucker? Tucker! I need another demonstration. Or did Tucker go home? No. Apparently not. Out on a snack run. That's his catchphrase, so he ends conversation like, out on a walk, walking, working those legs, mush. <laughs> Jeez. Like I got into a fight with Cannoli earlier. I call her Cannoli, but I know it's Anacotti. You just take those mushy legs elsewhere. I mean, that you're just then feeding into what he wants. He wants you to move the mushy legs, so you're just doing that. I would just sit down right then and there and just open up like a bag of chips. Where did Tucker go? He was right here a second ago. Is he on the beach now?
I kind of wanted to. Is he just hiding behind a house or something? He was just walking around here before. Unless he went over to someone's house. Hang on. What's going on in here? Oh, it's just Colton. Hey, hello. You're always welcome in the house of Colton. So, what's going on? Just between you and me, it seems like Serrano is thinking about leaving town pretty soon. Are you okay with that? Shouldn't we go to his place and tell him to stay? We've got to stop him from leaving. See, Cat? He got upset. He heard you. Look what you did. Hey! How's it going? Do you wanna- do you wanna have a chat? Let's have a chat. Oh, no, I'm good. What's up? If you cut down a tree with an axe, it leaves a stump, right? I heard that sometimes there are stumps with strange patterns on them, Dave. And sometimes next to those strange stumps you can find rare mushrooms growing. Rare mushrooms? I bet they taste amazing, Dave. But see, I don't have an axe, that's the problem. Alright, um... I think in order to contribute towards, like, the store upgrade, which could happen still... I should just buy the other item in the store. My name isn't Dave. It's not. It's, it's an inside joke. If you are here and you know the Dave story, then you know about Dave. You do not know about Dave. That's okay. What am I going to do with these girders? I feel like I should just sell them. It's like, what, 1200? I'll try and sell them for whatever I can. You don't like that Timmy and Tommy follow you in the store. Oh no, yeah, I hate that. It's one of the first things I commented on was like, imagine, like, I hate when that happens in real life when you walk into a store and you don't really want to talk to someone. It's like, you know, they walk up to you, like, excuse me, do you need help? And I'm like, no, that's fine. I'm all right. I'm just browsing. And they, they, they hang around and then they follow you. And it's just like, dude, just please. <laughs> It's fine for them to ask the first time, but then after that point, if I say no, just leave me. It's basically what it is. Like, there's, there's some places that sell adult things, you know? It doesn't have to be like an adult toy, but it could be a movie that's intended for a, more of an adult audience, let's say. I mean, even something like just lube, for example. It's like, oh, what's that you're looking at? Lube? Oh. Let me tell you about this brand right here. It's like, dude, I, I told you, leave me alone. Stop following me. Do you really want to follow me to the aisle where they have lube? Please. I will call you if I need you, sir.
You've walked into a store, seen the clerk move towards you and gone out again. Like, instantly got that feeling that this was a more fancy store, so the clerks are all super extra helpful. <laughs> it just, it just depends. Like, sometimes it's... They have to do it and get told off if they don't. Other times it's because the place is commission based and so they want they want to make a sale. You see, I splurged on something recently. Nothing really, just a playroom wall. The problems already have one. No. Well, what am I gonna do with it now? I guess I'll figure something out. Just the guilt trip there. It's like, I bought something I didn't fucking need. Hey, buy it for me for what I paid for it. I don't want this. I don't need it either. Oh, okay. Fine then. What am I going to do with two of them, huh? Why did you buy the second one in the first place? Sometimes... They... It, it's also a case of just people being bored at work and they want to talk to someone to not be bored. But mainly when they do that, it's because the job is commission-oriented. There's also the, the case of, like, there are people that take those kind of jobs super seriously, even though they don't get commission. Like, there were people working at Kmart that took that job super seriously. But they got, earned no commission. It's a turtle. All right, so there's some new stuff in the river. I can catch. I can catch some of this. When I was working the gaming section. All I used to say was, hey, how's it going? It's like, if you need anything, I'm going to be at the counter. That's all I would say. Oh good, the mosquitoes are out. I think that's another reason why online shopping has exploded. I mean, not, not just the convenience factor, but there's also the fact that you don't have to deal with people. Which, to some, is like a massive deal. Wait. <laughs> what? A fucking soft shell turtle motherfucker asshole. What's what's wrong with soft shell turtle? What's wrong with them, cat? Well, let's hear it. What's your gripe with the turtle? Trying to catch a snapping turtle, but all you get are the soft shelled ones. And you use the C word, that's great, that makes me laugh. I would read the C word, but man, YouTube just really punishes videos that use that word now.
Unless I said count, like soft shelled counts. There you go. That was my solution to it. Just say count. Yeah, counts. Can't say counts. Even though it's pretty heavily used in Australia. And that doesn't mean what it means. It can be a term of endearment. Just say can't with a British accent. Can't. Yeah, I guess. Can't do it. I thought you were gonna tell me some some story about like just being hurt by a turtle somehow. <laughs> I was half half expecting some story like just you got something against turtles. Hey Lola, what's up man? How's it going? Let's see if I haven't even donates. Uh, stretch. <laughs> well, you do now. Two months you've been trying to catch it. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. I mean, you know what's gonna happen, Cat, right? Like, you know exactly what's gonna happen. If you think back to the lava eel in Stardew when we played. Everyone came out of the woodwork when the C word was dropped. I think we're onto something. Everyone just leaps into action. What's that? Uh, the snapping turtle better fucking be out of season when I play. Well, I don't know. Probably not. The, I guess the. Th hang on. Let's see. Snapping... Okay. Let's see. Well, it's, it's active from October, so no, it won't be. It'll, be. it'll be out of season. But that being said, if I visit someone's island from the Northern Hemisphere, I can still get it. Would that be like the Aussie version of Beetlejuice? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Just say the word three times and my entire chat shows up. Yeah, how's things, man? How's uh, your night going? I swear if this is Colton again. Oh, no. Flip. Why do you have the fleas the Stand still. Okay. Oh, got it. Thank you, bro. I was wondering why I said so itchy. Anacardi's just watching. I'm not even embarrassed by it, just says thank you.
You got your cheeks absolutely clapped at work this week, so you're in relax mode. That's fair. I'm just kicking back. Just putting more time into this so I can wrap it up this week. Because I think I've seen most of what there is to see in this version of the game. You gonna be up for much longer? Because I was gonna say, if you... Ah, oh, or I could do some Baldur's Gate for a bit. I've been playing this for like 3 hours and 40 minutes, so. And I just got my, my funds. Oh, I didn't check if there's a new silver item at the museum. I'm checking that now. Down, you'll be up for a while more sure okay yeah let me wrap this up because it's been like almost four hours anyway I have the fishing rod um I mean uh, this room thing seems cool I think it's just to make up for the lack of space in this one so it's just decorating a room at the museum which yeah I mean that's fine I guess I just have to not visit an island. If I visit an island in North America, then yeah, I can catch a snapping turtle. Well, North America and or Europe. Northern Hemisphere. Oh. Oh, damn. Yeah, I hadn't checked this out, but this is all the stuff that's been here. I mean... This is just the stuff that I've got into date, so I guess if... Yeah, it's just stuff that I've earned to date, if I want it back. An old Korean lady tried to match make you with her daughter today. Okay, we're gonna have to hear that story when we get to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I wanna hear more of that. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, that happens. I mean... May as well, right? Okay. Solid session of this. Um, yeah. It's mainly fishing. <laughs> but tomorrow I get to see the coffee house. So that'll be, that'll be ready. And I think after that... I'll look at it one more time, but I'm pretty certain the coffee house is like the last thing I want to see from this game. It's not that it doesn't interest me to play this more. I'm like, this is a great game. Love it. But it's just people want me to play New Horizon as well, and I can't have both. So I'll do another New Horizon save. Uh, but this has been great so far, and hopefully you've been enjoying yourself as well on YouTube. If you have been, uh, remember to click buttons and stuff. YouTube likes that from an algorithm point of view. Uh, but yeah, thank you to those that do do that. It does help out the channel quite a bit. Uh, so thank you if you've done that. Uh, it's like 11.30 at night. The brain went dead for a sec. Uh, the other thing I usually say, two other videos popping up on your screen if you want to watch me do anything else, but we'll wrap try to wrap this up in the next one we'll see the coffee house and yeah if there's nothing else to see i'll i'll logically wrap this up and then we'll move to a new leaf thing 
later in New Leaf, New Horizons thing later on in the week. Alright, till next time, bye YouTube.